So what's going on, Scatterbrains? Thank you for coming back to another episode of Scatterbrains. See, my name is Travis, and I wanted to talk about something that is probably one of the most serious topics that I've ever talked about on my channel. It's a topic that I've gone back and forth on whether I was actually going to make a video about it or not. And it wasn't until today that I was like, let me go ahead and put my views out. Now, my channel isn't a place where I do a whole lot of political talk. I don't really do any political talk, to be honest with you. But I also feel like feel like I need to have some sense of balance and being honest about certain topics and how I feel about them. Now, I'll start this video off by saying that it is not my intention to offend anybody or to um, shame anyone or any of those negative associated feelings. That is not my goal. You know, if that happens, my bad, but that's not what I'm trying to do. All I'm doing is just voicing my opinion. So let's talk about abortion. Um, you know, we all have our views on it. So these are mine. Uh, for those who have seen Carmen and I's, Carmen and my video about our infertil infertility struggles, you probably kind of have an idea about how I feel about abortion. And for those who may not know, the reason that I'm making this video is because last night, this morning, I'm not really sure which, which one it is because I started following it last night, um, Alabama, Alabama Senate passed a abortion bill that outlaws abortion when a fetal heartbeat can be detected. There are no exceptions for incest and there are no exceptions for rape, meaning that in a nutshell, if a 12 year old girl was to be raped and impregnated by her um, predator, uh, it would be unlawful for her to get an abortion or for her parents to get her an abortion. It, it is expected if this bill is signed by the governor of Alabama, it is expected that this 12 year old would carry this child, uh, you know, full term or however long nature would allow her to. So this also comes off the heels of Georgia's governor signing a similar bill maybe a couple of weeks ago. It doesn't have anything in there about um Incest and rape are not excluded in uh, Georgia's. And y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, one thing <clears throat> that I did know that was in Georgia's bill was if a woman has a miscarriage and it is found to be the, the fault of the mother due to drugs or alcohol or something that she did to herself that caused the miscarriage, she'll be punished by the law. So pretty much what these bills and the other five or however many states who had these type bills, what it means is it is illegal to get an abortion. So this is how I feel about it. Let's first start, let's start off with abortion. Black bottom line, I believe abortion is wrong. I, and the reason I feel that way is as an adult, you know, I guess this video is probably inappropriate for young people, but as an adult, I know how a baby is made. I know what it takes to make a baby. Now, in doing that, that doesn't mean that you're going to make a baby, but you have a high chance of doing it. You know, uh, two, a male and a female together, no protection. It's very possible that the woman is going to get pregnant if, you know, both people have functioning organs and, and all of that kind of stuff. So I think we all kind of know how babies are made. So for me, as a logical thinking adult, it doesn't make sense to me why people choose to engage in sexual intercourse unprotected when you know that there's a possibility that a child could be born from it. And they end up pregnant and don't want children, so they get abortions. And that doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me because if you know how babies get here, if you know what it takes to have a baby, why would you do the things that cause babies to get here? Let me hold on lock this real quick because I feel like the can I lock it? Is it too late? Okay. I thought the lighting was changing or something. So it doesn't make sense why you would do the things that cause babies and then not want the result of it. It's like, I'm going to put all the ingredients together to bake a pizza, but I actually don't want the pizza. I just want the process. I mean, in my opinion, sex was created for one particular purpose, and that was for procreation. And yes, it is enjoyable, but it was created for procreation. So I personally know someone who has had probably upwards of about six to seven abortions. 
And these abortions are not due to anything but, in my opinion, irresponsibility. Irresponsibility and lack, and ir irresponsibility and ignorance. Because I don't understand how you can have intercourse unprotected, get pregnant that many times, knowing you don't want children and not, and not do something different. It just, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Now, coming from the side of a couple who had struggles getting pregnant and knowing that people can just so easily get pregnant and disregard the child and all that kind of stuff, you know, it makes you feel away when you see people just essentially throwing away their children. Um, now, and people can say, but you know, some people are just not in a financial place to take care of children. Okay, that's cool. If I'm not in a financial place, to do certain things, I'm not going to go out and do things that are going to cause me financial hardships. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go out and blow a bunch of money at the mall. I'm not going to go out and get a car whose car payment I can't afford. I'm not going to do the things that this world, I'm not going to do things in this world that are going to cause me more issues on top of the issues I already have. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it just, I feel like we have to stop using reasonings like, well, you know, some people just fall on hard times. No, I just, I feel, I feel like it's unacceptable. I feel like the excuses that people give for why abortions are okay are unacceptable outside of rape and incest and the child or the pregnancy being a life-threatening thing. Um, in those specific circumstances, I don't feel like it's wrong. I don't really know how you go about it, but I don't, I don't think it's wrong. Like if a child was raped and impregnated by the rapist, Abortion makes the most sense. It's a terrible circumstance, but that that's what makes the most sense. I could not imagine making my daughter carry the child of her rapist because I don't want her to get an abortion. I just, I could not imagine doing that. So in those circumstances, you know, hey, I, they make perfect sense to me. But just for whomever that just, you don't want the baby, it's, it's wrong. That's just what I believe. Like, I just... I don't know why that's such a hard thing for people to grasp. Now, in knowing that, in feeling like abortion is wrong, granted, this is just my opinion. I don't really care what anybody else thinks about my opinion because it is mine. I also think at the same time, even though I think it is wrong, I believe that it is a woman's right to do whatever it is she wants to do with her body. If you want to go out and sleep with people unprotected, knowing the risk, that's on you. Do what you want to do. Do whatever you feel like makes you happy as long as it's not hurting anybody else. And at the end of the day, I believe abortion is wrong, but I believe it is the woman's choice, whatever it is that she chooses to decide. Like that's for you to, um, you know, that's between you and God or you and whomever it is you serve. So at the same time, I don't think it's the government's place to tell women what to do with their bodies. So I don't know if I have like conservative and liberal views at the same time. I just, I feel like the government gets too involved in things that really isn't their business. Like I don't believe, I don't understand the rationale behind, well not, let me take that back because I do understand the rationale. I guess from the people who voted this law in and, and people who, you know, support it and all that kind of stuff. If you believe that life starts at conception and that a heartbeat means that a being is living if that is your baseline when you take another living living being's life that is murder if if your if your definition for life is that i think all of our definition for murder is the same taking another living living being's life that is murder so i i get that but i just don't i never had to think about when does life start it's not been a thought that i've ever had to really process and come to terms with when do I believe life starts? I don't know. Many people many people believe life starts at conception and it's not anything I've ever had to think about because for me, with the government stepping into something like this and telling women what they can and cannot do with their bodies, it almost makes me feel like, what might be coming down the line after this? You know, if you're able to get successful, if this is able to successfully pass all the way, what might be coming down the pike afterwards? You know what I mean? If we're going to say that life starts when you can detect a heartbeat or at conception, is a sperm cell a living thing? Is moving? Is I mean, I can define that as living. And if we take it that far, it's going to be a lot of men in jail for... for <laughs> 
y'all see what I mean? Like, what is coming after all of this? That's that's what I don't understand. So I just believe that the government, they had their hands in things they shouldn't have their hand in. Like, I kind of believe that God's job should be left up to God and it's not our place to play God. Like, you know, for the, for the same way that I don't believe that um, the government should be able to have a say in this. It's the same way that I don't believe in the death penalty. I do not believe that there's any individual on this earth, no matter how heinous the crime is that they commit, that they should be punished to death. No matter how terrible the crime is that they commit, I do not believe that they should be sentenced to death. Call me crazy. But I just feel like if I'm going to believe that God has a last say and that Revenge is mine, saith the Lord. If I believe that, then I have to know in my heart that whatever bad anybody does in the world, whatever bad anybody does to me, karma, God, whomever you you want to name, we'll take care of that. I don't I don't feel like that's my place to worry about get back, you know. For people who do bad things, like the guy who shot up all the kids at Sandy Hook, people want him to have death penalty, no. Let him sit in jail for the rest of his life and think about what he did. Because at the end of the day, jail is supposed to be about rehabilitation. So I feel like I'm pretty consistent in my views on the government. So I don't think the government should be able to tell a woman what they can and can't do with their body. The same way I don't believe the government should put people to death because of whatever crime they committed. But I'm really interested to see if other states will adopt this law or laws similar to it. Because it makes me concerned for, for what the future looks like. You know, I just... I was really shocked that the Senate in Alabama passed it. So at this point, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to think if the gov governor actually signs it into law. But I wanted to make this video. You know, it's it's a touchy, t touchy subject and it's not something easy to talk about. But, you know, hey, we're adults and we got to have uncomfortable conversations that we all may not agree about, agree on. But I'm interested to know what y'all think about it. For those who knew what was going on, for those who didn't know what was going on, what are your thoughts on the government being able to tell a woman that she can't terminate her pregnancy? Um, my wife was reminding me that in New York maybe had just passed a law that women can have abortions all the way up to 40 weeks. Now, I think that's very wrong. <laughs> I think for you to take a child full term and then decide that you don't want it anymore is just bad. You know, outside of those circumstances that I talked about, which for me, you would have terminated that a long time ago T to take a child to 40 weeks and then be like, mm, never mind. It, I just I don't understand the psyche of a woman making that decision. And I don't believe that there's really any excuse. I, I don't. And I I've, I've may get a lot of heat for, for, for that, for saying that. But I just don't feel like there's any excuse, no logical excuse that anybody can give me while it's OK to terminate a pregnancy. I just, outside of the things that I talked about, I just, it, I don't know. Maybe somebody break it down to me in the comments and give me a, cir a circumstance or a situation that I have maybe haven't thought about on why it's okay, you know? But I just, I don't, I don't agree with abortion. I don't support it. And uh, anyway, I'll never forget when I was in college, this girl that I was whatever with, uh, came to me and asked me to help her pay for the medication because she had just gotten an abortion and I wasn't the person who she was pregnant by because we never had, we hadn't gone that far. And I was just like, you want me to help you pay for the medication for the abortion that you just got for a baby that wasn't by me? That was crazy, but... I've always just thought it was wrong. People that I know just go and just, oh, I got prayed. I'm going to get an abortion. Like, just like it's nothing. Like, I'm just going to the store, get some candy. Like, I, uh. but anyway, before I start rambling, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, do you think it's wrong? Do you think it's right? Why? Should the government have a say so or not? Please um, let me know what you think in the comments and let's be civilized in our conversation. And remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video if you feel like it to get the conversation going. And um, as always, you can leave the comments down in the bottom of videos you'd like for me to make. And I'll be talking to y'all later. Peace.